No government shutdown is expected. Minnesota lawmakers have sent the final budget bill to the governor to be signed. The only item left now is a tax bill. The last budget item was funding for schools and other education programs just unanimously passed by the Senate. Our Caroline Cummings is at the Capitol. Sounds like some last minute work getting done, Caroline. So yes, the K-12 spending plan was just passed within the half hour before we went on air, and that was the last part of the $52 billion budget that needed to pass that wasn't already signed into law or on the governor's desk. So that makes it all but certain now that there won't be a government shutdown. The plan adds more than a billion dollars in new spending to schools, which leaders say is um, uh, the largest in 15 years. So what's left now is a tax bill, though it isn't a must-pass bill before midnight to keep the government open. That proposal includes $1 billion in tax breaks, including relief for small businesses that took PPP loans and Minnesotans who got extra unemployment benefits last year. The Department of Revenue says making some of those joblets benefits tax-free would impact half a million people in the state. But now we know the government will stay funded even amid a divided legislature where leaders admit it was hard to come to an agreement. We tried to navigate through extremely difficult situations. She is representing and is uh, a liberal and I'm, I'm conservative and to, for those two sides to come together and just barely touch, close the deal and get done is way harder than you can imagine. Now, Senator Gazelka there talking about uh, House Speaker Melissa Hortman, whose support in the DFL House he needed in order to strike deals. Now, again, uh, this means it's only the tax bill left to pass here tonight. Uh, the Senate was discussing it uh, just moments before I came on air. And we are also expecting to hear from the governor at some point this evening as well, though we don't know all of those details yet. Okay, well, we'll look for uh, updates on our website and social sites, and of course, tonight at 10 as well. Thank you, Caroline.